We shut off the live chat and we will bring some customers in here and we have someone from Galaxy S20. You ever been there? We're being live streamed. And I'll turn the record on. It's Thursday morning, the 5th of August. Summer is whizzing by. Let's bring in Galaxy S20 FE 5G. Let's see. I'm guessing this is Mr. Ridenauer. Good morning, sir. Can you hear me? You need to unmute your mic if you would. Thank you. All right, can Good you hear morning, me now, sir? Yes, I can. Thank you. Are you Victor Ridenauer? Yes, sir. All right, let me give you a name here. All right. I had uh, Casimir Williams also logging in, but I lost him. Uh, we're about to start. It's 8.14, and uh, you're here for what's called an arraignment, and we'll explain that in just a moment. I'm waiting for this other guy who just logged in and then fell out. He's from Dwajak. I'm not sure you can get here from there. Well, we'll go ahead and start. Um, we're here at 3B District Court for arraignments. First person to log in this morning is Victor Ross Ridenauer. That's you, sir? Yes, sir. Mr. Ridenauer, this crime allegedly occurred more than a year ago. I'm not sure what took him so long to serve the warrant. Let's take a look. They issued a warrant, the prosecutor that issued it isn't even here anymore, in April of 2020, alleging that you possessed methamphetamine as a second or subsequent offender, making it punishable by up to 15 years imprisonment. Um, they alleged that that occurred in the village of Menden in January of 2020. For reasons I don't understand, they didn't serve the warrant until just recently in July of 2021. Are you still on Nottawa Road in Menden? Yes, sir. How did you get arrested on this here recently? I was pulled over for speeding. And they found this old warrant? Yes, sir. All right. Well, this is a felony charge, and the rules are a little bit different here. Also with us is Jeanette Jackson from the Public Defender Office. But what I'm going to do here, because it is a felony, I'm going to show you plead not guilty. Yes, sir. I'm going to appoint an attorney for him. I'm going to appoint attorney Christine Yancey.
who is right there in Menden. That works out pretty well. You can hire an attorney of your own choosing, but I want to make sure you have one. Yes, sir. I need the court appointed. All right. I'm going to set a pre-exam conference, which is what we do on felony cases, preliminary examination. And before that, we have a conference called a pre-exam conference. That's going to be set for August 17th at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. And if we need a preliminary examination, it will be August 24th at 1 p.m. Yes, sir. Did you ever move from that address? So no, all time. No. No, sir. I was I was in Centerville for a little while, uh, going through a divorce, but then I got my home back. Well, it doesn't sound like they looked for you very hard. No wonder they gave you a PR bond. All right, here's the deal. I showed you pled not guilty. I appointed attorney Christine Yancey. Uh, she's a very capable attorney. She's right there in your town. I want you to make an appointment to go discuss this with her prior to your pre-exam conference date of August 17th. That first hearing will be virtual by Zoom like this. If we have a preliminary examination, that will be live in person. But uh, for the time being, I will uh, send you that paperwork to your address uh, on Ottawa Road in Menden, and uh, your obligation is to be here either in person or virtually on August 17th at 9 a.m. Do you have any questions? No, sir. All right. Mr. Brother, no. Your Honor. Yes? Um, I, I haven't read the complaint to him. I don't know if anyone's read that complaint to him. I don't know if that's necessary at this point. I told him that the allegation was on that day oh. in the village of Lind and he was charged oh. with possession of methamphetamine. Okay. I just, I, I missed that. I just want to make sure. Okay. All right, Mr. Ridenauer. Uh, good luck. There was also, sir, there was also a case that I was supposed to deal with, with a, uh, um, impaired driving. They said we'd handle today. That's news to me. Let's take a look. And I, when I called the court, I called yesterday to your office. They said they had that on there. Well, let me look. I looked him up this morning. I didn't see that one, it's but not, I could it's not, it's not in here. I only have this one, the only one that pops up at the moment. Let me try once more here. No, I don't see any impaired driving. Oh, wait a minute. There's Victor the third. Yes, and I am the third. Is that you, sir? Yes, sir. No, oh. still, there's no impaired charge in here. Yeah, was that there's a refusing a preliminary breath test? Yes, I got. I'm going to pay that ticket today, and that oh, was. Hold on, oh. don't don't pay anything yet. But no, I don't have an impaired driving charge that's been authorized yet. So we will. They told you yesterday they would deal with it today. Yes, when I called into your to the number here on this paperwork. Uh, I don't have it. It's not in the AS400, and we'll deal with it uh, if we need to when I see you next on the 17th. Don't pay any tickets yet. Okay, Hold not on. even meeting or anything? No, just talk to your lawyer, Miss Yancey. Okay, uh, we'll do. All right. All right, I don't know where that is, sir, but we'll when you got pulled over for speeding, was that uh, yeah, also? Yeah, all at the same time. Okay. 
they haven't filed any complaint yet, so we'll keep an eye on that. Okay. All right. You're good to go. Thank you, sir. Uh, let me put a note in there. I had looked him up earlier because I didn't have the right case number, but I couldn't find anything other than his, his, uh, his felony. There was a civil infraction refusing a PBT. Yeah, I don't, I don't have that, but they don't have everything on here. I'm not sure what's going on, so we'll find out. Oh. All right, we got a couple other customers here. Uh, Kazmir Williams, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. All right, Mr. Baller, is that you in the conference room? Yes, it is, sir. All right, we'll be with you in just a moment. All right. Let's start with Ms. Williams. Are you Kazmir Lynn Williams? Yes. You got a ticket on July 24th for driving without an operator's license and impeding traffic and possession of marijuana under 21 years of age, which is a civil infraction. Um, the most serious charge is the no ops. It's punishable by up to a year in jail, excuse me, up to 90 days in jail. Fine of up to the way this is charged, $500. The problem I have this morning is I don't have a prosecutor to meet with you to discuss this. We did at one time, but the county prosecutor no longer agrees to meet at these arraignments. The good news is you didn't have to drive all the way over here from Dwajak. Ms. Jackson is here from the Public Defender's Office, and she and I discussed this just before you logged in. It's going to be her recommendation, Ms. Williams, that you plead not guilty, and I set this for a pretrial so you can discuss this with the prosecutor. You need to unmute your mic. Can you Your hear Honor. me? Yes. Yes, yes Ms. Jackson? Yes. <laughs> Sorry, I hate to interrupt, but um, one thing I, I if, if possible, I would suggest an addition in the meantime, if she can, get in an appointment set with the Secretary of State and start working on getting her license before that pretrial, if possible. Well, it's so hard to get SOS appointments, I right? That's why I thought if she starts now, she doesn't wait till the pretrial to get that started. All right, that's probably good advice. Ms. Williams, what do you do over there in Dwajak? Can you repeat that? I didn't hear you. What do you do? What's your occupation? I work for a factory. Okay. Do you still live on Allen Street? Yes. All right. I'm going to set a pretrial for next Thursday. Okay. Uh, August, and I apologize for making you come back, but it's outside of my control. If this was an ordinance case, the city attorneys are still appearing, but the county prosecutor doesn't want to do this, much to the inconvenience of people like you. Set up for Thursday, August 12th at 8.30. There'll be a different number to log into, we'll send you that information. All right. And so come in. Ms. Jackson's advice about starting the process of what you need to do to get your license could help. These other two charges are civil infractions. You were going over the speed limit and they charge you with impeding. And marijuana is now a civil infraction and they charge you with that because you're less than 21 years of age. So for the time being, we'll show you're pleading not guilty. If the matter can be resolved at the pretrial, great. If it can't, we can get an attorney to help you with this. And at any time in the process, you can hire an attorney of your own choosing. So I'm gonna send you that information to your address there on Allen Street. 
next Thursday morning at 8.30. I want you to log into that pre-trial. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're good to go. Yep, thank you. Good morning, Mr. Ballard. We're kind of in the same boat on your case. This is file 211422, and there are a couple of civil infractions in the matter of Caleb Ballard. Mr. Ballard, they charge you with minor possessing or consuming alcohol. They charge it as a misdemeanor, but I believe it's a civil infraction. Yeah, they also right. charge it with a very minor offense of trespass. Yeah, uh, a few of them, I think. All right. The, I haven't talked to you in a few weeks here. How are you doing? I'm actually doing, uh, I'm doing all right. Push along. Hey, you, got a place, you got a place to live? I was just living at Keystone, but I uh, passed it along. I just, I don't really respect being around as much drugs as over there, you know. I uh, can't handle it, and I don't really like the drugs that are over there, so I uh, got to find somewhere new to live. But I have a job, and I work under the table, but it's not good enough for the winter, so. No, I wish I had a good answer for you. You you uh you make me sad um but i'm gonna show up not guilty plea did you walk over from keystone this morning um no i was uh i stayed over at the apartments in Centerville this morning uh, i left last night do you have any support system are you speaking with your mom no uh, I, don't, I don't stay with my mom, but I, I have a support system myself. Uh, I have a government phone. I mean, that's not really much, but I pushed along, dude. I saw you yesterday. <laughs> Where were you? Um, you were. Oh, you were walking. Yeah, you're walking on the street. Yeah, I saw you uh, at lunchtime. Yeah. Uh, um, all right. Anyway, what I don't think this is even charged right. This the, the guy that charges a misdemeanor, I believe it's a civil infraction. The trespass is quite a minor charge, but I'm gonna set a pretrial. For next Thursday. 8 12 21 at 8.30, we'll give you a notice right here. You're welcome to come back and be in the conference room just like this. Um, so where are you sleeping tonight? You don't know, it's a day-to-day -day thing? Fortunately, um, yes. Well, I do appreciate the fact that you're trying to stay away from drugs. That last situation where you were Pounding on apartment doors at four o'clock in the morning wasn't very good. Um, you're a nice kid, Caleb, and I just wish you had more help. You're trying to make your way in the world with about zero support I'm, system. I'm in contact with CMH, and I'm, I uh, pressed to go into rehab and whatnot, but I already went, so Swimba has a lack to let me go back, so... They've denied me a couple times. All right. Well, I want you to go out to the counter and they'll give you a notice to come back next Thursday at 8.30 for a pretrial, okay? All right. All right. If I see you at lunch again, I'll say hello. Uh, right. It was a nice day yesterday to be out and about. As you know, I take a little walk every day at lunch to wake myself up. Okay. Uh, you're good to go, sir. Oh, good. See you around. Okay. We have Tina Marie Hart from Burr Oak, who isn't here, and we've got time, so let's roust her up.
Well, our success rate is still about 2%. <laughs> uh, anyway, Ms. Hart is not here. Yeah, actually, <laughs> she cleared her ticket up two days after this ticket was issued. Well, we'll do an order to show cause. I'll put here per Jay Jackson. Yeah, it, it was cleared on 726. It was out of, failed to um, comply with judgment ticket and it was paid in cold water. All right, we'll try in order to show cause first. Okay, that's the only four arrangements we had. I've got a zoning trial coming up here about 10. Uh, I'm gonna shut off the live feed here and the recording. And we'll be back shortly, don't go away yet. Okay. Yeah.